but it was still a black and white image and it looked a lot like what Curiosity land looked like when we landed. Uh, low resolution, black and white imagery. Um, over the next few hours after we deployed the cover, we were able to um, actually get down the full resolution color imagery. So this is, the, this is a picture of with the covers still on. Uh, and then if we go to the next one, now we have our somewhat lower resolution, but really high resolution compared to what we've seen before on other previous missions and now in color. So this is our first color front HASCAM image and our first color image from the surface of Mars. Um, we, this is not a color corrected product yet, so we'll be continuing to work. Our team has been working up until five o'clock this morning and we'll continue to be working hours like this over the weekend to get data as quickly and uh, accessible out to the public. So this is an incredible achievement and there's one other image I want to show. So one of the amazing things about these cameras is they're actually, so they're, as I mentioned, they're 20 megapixel color cameras and we can actually basically take a small subset of that image and receive that. So what this image is, is of the wheel on the surface of Mars. It's the front right wheel. Um, and we have now actually seen what it looks like right underneath the wheels. Um, we have imagery like this that we will be releasing to the raw images website probably later today. Our team is just actively uh, working on processing that data and getting that ready. Um, one of the amazing things is now that we have this image data is we can now hand this over to the robotic and science teams so that way we can actually begin to really start the mission.